CSUB student. Today we're going to be making mango guacamole. Um, I grew up saying mango, but mango works just as fine. <laughs> Same thing. Um, so we're just doing one um, mango, four small avocados, one purple onion, two limes, and some salt. So I'm just cutting it up. Um, I was trying out this new way I haven't really used before of cutting it, um, the mango up. And I kind of like pushed it out after I cut it and scooped it out with a spoon. I didn't really find it that affected or it could have worked better. So, um, oh, and then I grabbed this, um, I guess a bucket and then a bag. I do this when I am cooking just so that I could discard any trash I have in there instead of going back and forth to the trash. It's really fast and easy and then you just pull it out when you're done and take it to the trash. So then I tried a different method. Um, it's basically the same thing. I start off cutting it um, vertically and then horizontally and then I scoop it out instead of um, pushing and then scooping. I found this way to be easier, but if you have a better way of cutting it, let us know and we will try it. <laughs> and I pretty much cut the avocado the same way and again, if you have a better way of cutting that, let us know. this one and I was so sad to see the biggest seed <laughs> in the avocado and um, the majority of the avocado was not good so I ended up just using three um, small avocados but if you have four use it and if you don't have um, small avocados you can use um, two large avocados that would work just as well. tried <laughs> to cut it in cubes just as long as you don't cut your fingers I think you're good So the way I did that was cut um, horizontally, vertically, so you're making like, um, I guess like checkers, and then you cut through them and you make these um, cubes of onions. Basically what we did was the mango, the avocado. <laughs> 
and you can use the whole onion or you don't have to, just really up to your liking. Or you can omit the onion itself. I just like that it gives that crunchiness to the salsa or guacamole. Um, but you can really make it your own recipe. For crunch, you just add some seeds or um, I could just think of seeds right now, but you can really just add anything. And then I am rolling the limes just to get the juices flowing so that when you squeeze it, it comes out more easily. I'm just cutting them in half, and then I'm going to put them in my lime squeezer. And I like that bucket too, because it just makes your space more organized, instead of just like putting the lime back on the counter or something, like you have a specific place designated for the trash on the counter space. So now I'm adding my salt. You could definitely add like cayenne pepper um, to make it spicy, just or maybe some garlic powder as well for more flavor. I just decided salt, and then I have some tortilla chips and enjoy. And that's pretty much it. You'll enjoy this all summer long, and hope you guys have a great summer.